Ah, uh, yes, Hearthstone. There were people who actually liked the Hearthstone content on this channel, even though, again, as we even talk about in the description, we are not the best player, we're not playing at the high ranks, we're not going to make Legend, I'm not an Arena Master. But still, it's kind of enjoyable, I think, for people who are not familiar with it to watch, or people who are, to see how bad I am. I'm actually decent, but I could definitely be better. This is happening this week because I'm still kind of in between series. We just finished up Pokemon last week. Or two weeks ago, rather. Final Fantasy just finished last week. Final Fantasy X. So, uh, before I can get started on the next big series, I need a week to kind of plan some stuff out. And as such, I'm going to play some Hearthstone. And what a shocker. We're at rank 20. It's kind of where we like to sit sometimes, to be honest. Since I'm more of a casual player, I oftentimes will lose on purpose and just go back to 20 and... Hang around there and pick up quest wins. Because I don't care about pushing for legend or any of that stuff. I don't care about golden heroes. I just want to do my quests so I can get more cards and then have better decks. So, um... Since last time, there's all sorts of stuff that's changed. And we'll go over that over the course of the week. Uh, wild and Standard play and another expansion and all sorts of stuff. Because we haven't done these videos in a bit. So, uh... Should be interesting. I want to play my custom hunter. I haven't even been naming these decks that I've made for the new uh, standard mode because I just haven't bothered, I guess. But standard mode is basically the last two years worth of cards and the basic sets are ones from the beginning, so stuff like Nox Ramus is out. And in some ways that's a good thing. It gives you a mode where you don't have the same cards all the time being seen, like a Dr. Boom, like a Mad Scientist. I will fight. It's kind of creating a new meta, and by the way, Shaman for the first time is on top of that meta, which is interesting. Um, I'll go ahead and toss those two. Infested Wolf is one of our favorite turn four plays with this deck. We'll talk about this deck as we go along here. But yeah, all sorts of changes. It's pretty interesting, actually. This deck is about really building up a strong set of turns such that around the six or seven range we have like a stranglehold on the board Reporting for duty. we have double infested wolf which leaves behind two one one beasts that can do cool stuff as well I think we can eat I mean we're coining something here it's either the bow or the you know what let's do the animal companions I think a little bit stronger here not necessarily thrilled with that, but that's okay. The 4-4 four four would have been sexy. So then Infested Wolf gives us the option of popping out two little 1-1s one -ones that are also beasts, which sets up a perfect turn 5 with Ram Wrangler. That's the one that if you have a beast, it summons another beast. And that, while that has some huge variance to it, it's generally a good thing for us. Reporting for duty. Hmm... Nah, I think we still just go this route and kill the 1-1. One, because one. Fiery Bat plus Hero Power doesn't really do us any good. Keep our poor weakened Huffer at full health this way. He's a great 1-1 one, one killer. We have a couple options depending on what he does, assuming that he doesn't die. Okay, well we don't have a couple of great options anymore, so I guess we just gotta let that show in Yeti rock. We could Houndmaster that, but I think we're better off playing this. And then just move it on. Okay, can't say I'm shocked by that. I'm a little surprised by that, but we have a clear answer for it, so that's okay. 8-8? Eight, eight. How about an 8-1? Does that sound good? And then... With the Remnants, and this is another reason why that's a good card, it's another target for Houndmaster as well. Build up a nice little board there. Okay. That's what I get for sitting on it, but that's alright. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of options this turn. None of these trades really work out favorably for us with that damn 3-2, unfortunately. We could Houndmaster another one of the 1-1s, one but then it dies. 
We can Houndmaster a 3-3 and make it run into the Toss Dingo. That's a thing, but then it, it's weak to Consecrate. So I think we're just going to straight up kill Command. And build a board a little bit more. We're not just going to spend all of our time being petrified of Consecration. That's silly. Shiny golden true silver champion. Reporting for duty. Let's see what we draw. King's elect, huh? Okay, let's start with that then. We have a few attractive targets we could draw if we win this joust, and we will on a lot of occasions, but not this time. So I think what we're going to do is actually trade here and see what we draw. Okay. Now I could play the Fiery Bat in this spot, but I kind of want to keep it as a cheap beast activator more than I want it on the board right now because of that reason right there. Double Consecration. Okay. Well, you cleared the board. Please hit my face with the true silver. Even if you have another one, I would love you to waste a true silver charge on that. I'm not breaking nearly enough things right now. He might just want the healing, even if he doesn't have another true silver. We'll see. Or he does, and he's just trying to spend the charge so we can equip a new one. I mean, that's getting there, but it's not quite enough. We haven't drawn a lot of our fun targets. No Ram Wranglers, the Savannah Highman we tried to get, but we lost the Joust. We have a Legendary whose name I've forgotten. Justice. Yeah. Okay, let's start with this, see what we can draw. Yeah, I think another Deadly Shot's going to be pretty strong in this spot. We're going to make an unfavorable trade here, but we really want to get rid of this 5-6, and we don't have a lot of great ways to do it, so we'll just do it like so. Little Scarab is also a beast, so we still have a Kill Command Activator out. And a Ram Wrangler, and, and blah blah blah. How Master, but we've already played both. You know. Another downside of this deck is there's not a lot of card draw. So we really need to be drawing higher value targets than this. Okay, let's see what we draw. Cold Light Oracle, there's the card draw I wanted, except I don't think I want it. Alright, let's play this and see what we get. I didn't really want the taunt in this spot, but I guess it'll do. I think no matter what, we're okay with what this hits. Obviously, we prefer the 7-7, seven, seven, no question, but... We know he has no more Consecrates, so that's convenient. a big old beefy minion deck, and because we're not drawing all that well, we don't have a lot of answers right now, but... I think this is... correct. Because he can't afford to leave it alive. He's gonna have to trade. That'll give us two, two, two beasts, plus a kill command, plus a hero power to play with, and we just need a combination of this kind of time. He doesn't have consecrate. Reporting for duty. The frost wolves stand ready. Okay, just need to fade anything that heals. This 
is where we really needed to be patient with that kill command. And it worked out. Just imagine if we had drawn better. It would have been a lot less uh, nerve-wracking. So that's the plan for this week. We'll play a few different decks, play around with some of the new mechanics, some of the new cards. We'll run a Cthune deck at one point. I uh, I also have something I haven't really built a deck for yet, but, I mean, it's all the rage. And that's Yogg-Saron. Where you at, buddy? There you are. So, uh, these are always interesting. It's not really a win condition as much as it is, if anything, maybe an equalizer if you're behind, because it just puts spells all over the damn place. Uh, I don't think I have preparation as a rogue, unfortunately, so I don't have, like, the best deck for him, but I could build a mage deck or something. We might have some fun with that. Oops. Hold on. Yeah, I have, like, no preps. But anyways, that's the plan for this week. Next week, we might be starting something fresh. I'm not sure yet, but one week at a time, right? <laughs>